Tasmanian police say they will update procedures and send correspondence to all commands, reinforcing the need to call mental health services when needed. A coroner found that a woman with mental health problems living in community housing of starvation within weeks of the police welfare check. Coroner Simon Cooper wrote in his report that women starving to death alone in suburbs of an Australian capital raises many issues, including inaction of Tasmanian police. The woman Mr Cooper protected from identity had a long and well-documented history of mental illness. His older brother KN was probably the closest person to him, and he said it's been 10 years since HJ accepted him into his unit. He also said that he rarely answers his phone. The 71-year-old woman rented a unit in Bridgewater, north of Hobart, from community housing provider Centercare Volve. It was surrounded by grass up to his chest. The unit's yard was full of rubbish. The shutters were always closed, Mr. Cooper wrote. In December 2021, one of the woman's neighbors contacted the police worried that she had not seen her in about two weeks. Three officers from Bridgewater Station were dispatched on December 9 to conduct a welfare check. The entire interaction was captured on a body-worn camera. The attendants, who knocked on the door and did not answer, finally broke in. There they found H.J. He was clearly malnourished and weak, the coroner wrote. His grey hair was matted in large tufts. His eyes were shining. Mr. Cooper also wrote that it made no sense. He spoke quickly of various conspiracies involving the police, the Chinese, ISIS and Jesus, he wrote. While watching footage that is frankly disturbing to watch, it's pretty clear that HJ is seriously ill, both mentally and physically. Although officers informed Centercare that the door needed repair, they left without contacting an ambulance. When officers returned to the police station, they prepared a report, apparently realizing that appropriate services, such as CAT crisis assessment treatment and Centercare Evolve will be contacted HJ will receive due attention. Nothing else was done. Coroner Simon Cooper said the woman's lonely death raised many issues. At home there is no food on January 7, 2022, the woman's brother, deeply concerned for her well-being, went to her unit. The report said there were no sounds or signs of life, and when he didn't answer the door, he went to the police. He finally caught them the next morning, they broke into his unit and found him dead. Attending paramedics noted that any food in the house was completely empty and contained very few items. The refrigerator is completely empty except for a dirty empty glass, the report said. The patient doesn't seem to be eating. There were four garbage bags in the laundry room, visible chocolate biscuit packets the bags were unopened. Patient appears to be living in a state unsuitable for her mental health condition unable tea.